There are hundreds of normal blocks in Minecraft, but did you know there are a bunch of secret illegal blocks in Minecraft too? What? That's right, some of these blocks can't even be obtained in creative or via commands. They are that secret. These illegals can be anything from discontinued blocks to, like I said, quite literally blocks you can't even get in creative or via commands. Or blocks that Mojang quite literally don't <laughs> want us to get. So I've gone ahead and found five Five very simple illegal slash unobtainable blocks in Minecraft. If you haven't dotted your illegal block journey yet, this video will definitely get you in the right direction. Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition bug slash glitch video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get five illegal slash unobtainable blocks in the Minecraft Bedrock Edition. These things are super simple to obtain, like really simple. And of course, some of them may get patched in future updates, so make sure you get them right now. That being said, let's jump straight on into the video. So in at one, we have different height top snow. As you can see, these are actually different. This is a full block of top snow, which is not a normal block to acquire. And this is just under a full size block, but this is the original size block that you should actually have. But there are actually eight different layers of top snow that you can acquire. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All you're gonna need is some dirt and flowers set up in this formation like so. Then what I would do is just simply go up in a staircase formation like so and simply add the top snow on top of the dirt, making sure obviously you're going up in that staircase kind of way and we're going to do that one and then this is the final one. You can't actually do it when you're standing on it and one more there so once you've got them all placed down then you can simply go ahead and remove the dirt from underneath the snow and not only will you get your snow back on the floor which is kind of actually nice because it duplicates the snow but you'll get a random snow tile and if you put them in order you can see um, they actually look really nice in a chest so if you have all eight they're really nice to display in a chest not only that but um, I think they look actually all right like this. Kind of like a staircase, right? Very quickly, I do want to mention when you place these blocks down again, once you've actually obtained them. So, for example, if I go to the second one, they still, like, they just go the same height as the original one. So, like, this is the original one. And if we pick this one, yeah, they'll just go the same height. So, it's important that you just, like, put them in a chest to display them. Or even, like, on an item frame like this. I mean, they don't look as good on an item frame. But, I mean, they don't look all that bad. So, yeah, definitely worth getting. Kind of like 8 in 1 for that first one. Okay, so, number 2. I have my suspicions that this is going to be patched soon. So, I would probably do this ASAP. Basically, all you need is an axolotl in a bucket and get yourself a skipping rope aka a lead then place your axolotl down like so place the skipping rope or lead onto the axolotl and then you're free to go and collect the axolotl what happens is the lead actually stays on the axolotl in the bucket making it a lead to lotl so if i place it down as you can see the lead is still on the axolotl and if i pick it up like, yeah, I've no longer got the lead on me. It's in the bucket, which is kind of illegal, right? What I would say about this one, it is really easy to get mixed up. So I would definitely, you know, like rename it to, I don't know, anything. Just, just something so you know it's got the lead in it. So lead or something like that. And then you know that this is the lead to lot all and you'll never get mixed up. Again, a really, really simple one. And yeah, it's probably going to get packed. So get this right now. Up next, we got illegal armor. In fact, I think this is the only illegal armor block in the whole game. So it's definitely worth getting. And it's pretty easy to get, to say the least. You only have to find a woodland mansion. So it's, I mean, it's kind of long, but it's easy nonetheless. You can use chunk base and just get a copy of your world. Kind of like going creative, check the mansions and just get the coordinates. I mean, that's what I did just to make sure that I definitely, definitely had one. These things are so awesome. They are leather efficiency caps. Of course, you can dye them any color you want. So, I mean, they look super cool. 
and yeah, they're literally waiting for you to pick them up in a chest right now. In addition to this, I thought I would add a little bonus one. I mean, if you get lucky, you may get a woodland mansion with not only an efficiency hat in it, but a glow stick. Now, this is not really um, one on the list. I'm putting it as a bonus one because it's a little bit harder to find. This room is kind of like a rare secret room in the mansion. Where is the tree room? They're a little bit easier to find in the mansion, and I think they pop up a lot more frequently. Whereas the end room, the fake end room, yeah, they're a little bit more rare. So that does mean you may have to travel a little bit further away to find it. But yeah, I thought I'd add that piece of information anyway. So for number four, I thought I'd put in the nether portal block purely for the fact that this is really quite OP. Again, it is a portal in your pocket. You can pretty much do a number of things with this. And for saying how easy it is to obtain just a small little redstone machine, yeah, it's definitely got to go on this list. Again, I did do a video on this literally yesterday, so if you want an updated tutorial on that, I'm going to throw that in the description below. I mentioned in yesterday's video a few good reasons why you would want this block. So not only is it a super awesome illegal block, you can't get this in creative, and I'm 90% sure that you cannot get this via commands either. Like, the only way you can get this is the machine method. There's, like, different machines out there to get it, but it's all, like, reasonably the same. As I said at the beginning, this thing is literally a portal in your pocket. If you get in sticky situations, you're out of there in a flash. No more obsidian needed. And of course, like I said in yesterday's video, if you're in the end and you've got a bunch of end loot and you want to get from an end city back to home really, really fast, these things can help you out so, so much. Although I did mention in yesterday's video there are side effects to using these in the end dimension. So yeah, if you want to find out those, go ahead and have a look at that video. But yeah, nether portal blocks. And finally on the list, we have got Deep Slate Emerald. I thought I would put this in because... It's easy because it's in the world right now, and I kind of wanted to do an alert on it. This is only in the 1.17 edition. I, I believe it's getting discontinued after, at least, I, I mean, I believe it is. It's not supposed to generate where it does. So because of the generation changes, I believe that this is not going to be in the game anymore, making this pretty rare indeed. All we've got to do is find it, which is, I mean, I'd say it's simple. It's a simple task. I mean... It might be a bit long and boring, but it's definitely worth doing. I'd probably look for every Deep Slate ore, but especially the Emerald ones. I was literally waiting for the rain this whole video. I was like, surely. I was like, not a video without rain, but no, here it is. <laughs> but right at the end anyway. So, I mean, I mean, it's not all doom and gloom, right? Anyway, there it is. There are five very simple illegal slash unobtainable blocks you can get in Minecraft right now. Remember, if you have any tips, tricks, or glitches that you want to submit, let me know in the comments below. I will catch you on the next one.